Hello and welcome back to Daft Monk. My name is Axel, also known as Daft Monk, and today we're doing something requested by my friend, my friend Comboy. We are doing Reddit stories. Yeah, we're doing Reddit stories again. Um, because I did that. I think the, when I got Train Sim World, the first one, I did um, a thing where I sat in passenger mode and just read Reddit stories and searched for Reddit stories on, at the time. But on this one. I've actually got some Reddit stories pre pre uh, pre searched. So while we wait for the train to turn up, because we're going on a journey to um, where are we going? Want to make? I want to go to Cathcart, but I do want to go up to Glasgow. So my main main goal is Glasgow. Um, I'm gonna check the train times. See when the next train is. Eight sixteen. So we've got three minutes to wait. And while we wait, um, we can wait in the shelter. I'll wait in the shelter. Oh, I gotta buy a ticket. Okay. Uh, hide my pin number. Take your, take your ticket. And okay. While we wait for the train to arrive, I shall read a Reddit story. So, the first Reddit story we have. These are Kevin's stories, by the way. Or at least I think they are. I just found a file on my computer that said Reddit stories for train sim. So this one is by Yoda Mouth 67 So in the UK, we have a period of school called sixth form. Think the last two years of high school. Now Kevin hadn't gone to my secondary school, so I only met him when we went to sixth form. Boy do I wish I'd been there earlier. Okay. Kevin had a friend. We'll call him Brad. Brad is an odd sort. Not quite a Kevin, but definitely on the line. Brad liked to rap. Brad wanted to film a music video. One day after school, Brad and Kevin sneaked onto the school roof to film their video. All goes well for the first few minutes as they began doing their thing, recording on Kevin's phone. It went south quickly. A year seven, brackets, sixth grader, saw them up there and alerted the teacher. This is what distinguishes Brad from Kevin. As a, It's not happened yet. I don't know what's going on, and I'm already laughing. As a teacher approaches from the ground, they both run off before the teacher can find them. In confusion, Kevin left his phone behind. Kevin decided he needed his phone. Kevin went back. Kevin went back. Kevin was caught and excluded for two days. What? Oh, train's here. So, okay... Um, so, he, he then forgot, he dropped his phone, left it there, went back for it. Seriously? I would have just left it there and come back, like, another day, like, on a weekend or something. Like, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man, I can tell this is going to be great. Right. On to the train. Time to get on the train. Oh, I think 8.16 is when it leaves. Right. Onto the train. We need to find a good seat. Uh, particularly one by a window. You stole the seat I was going to take, mate. Oh, these people are stealing the seats I want. Okay, we'll go over here. We'll sit on this seat here. I want one. I don't want to go backwards. I want to sit in the seat that I fucking pick. I want to sit in the seat that I fucking pick. There you go. Right, look out the window. There you go. That's... This is what it is now. You're going to be staring out this window for a while. Okay. When the train starts a moving... I th Sir! Sir! Yeah, I guess there's no other person you could sit next to, so... Would you like to hear some Reddit stories? Because I'm, I'm reading some Reddit stories. <laughs> some guy lost it and dropped his phone up on the roof. The last one. Right. Um, oh, that was my laptop. Right. This next story, once the train starts moving, I will start saying it. This next story is by Rogues Gallery X. I cannot believe that my brain allowed me f to forget about the actual Kevin, his given name, that was a massive facepalm generator. We weren't fully related. My granny was in a common law marriage with his grandfather, who I also claimed as my own grandpa. It was a technicality, honestly. Regardless, he was a major Kevin. 
the specific incident that came flooding back to me was his McDonald's arrest. Uh, uh, okay. This young'un, after a drug fueled, which is going to be a theme here, night of doing Kevin things, he wound up buying a gun from someone, oh god, with mostly drugs, but also money he had taken from his baby mama. His next move for that evening was to go to McDonald's, where he excitedly showed showed to showed the gun off and explained in painstaking detail how he purchased it to a policeman oh my god he had stopped in for dinner while on duty he was promptly arrested <laughs> so he's so he's bought a gun with drugs walked to mcdonald's and gone hey mate i bought a gun with drugs yeah you're under arrest sir why are you dressed like a police officer? Why are you putting me in the back of a van? What's going on? <laughs> oh, this is why I like Kevin's stories, because you never know what you're going to get. You just never know. <laughs> oh, and it took like a whole station to tell the story. Um, She did a moonwalk. Go back. She was like, a bill of jeans, not my love. Oh! Oh, Jason Statham's gone. Either that or he didn't like the... I don't think he liked the story. God, did you like the story? He's looking at me. That's the look of approval. <laughs> right, anyway. Should we do the next story? The next story... These are all Kevin stories, by the way. I tried to find Kevin ones because I know Connor likes these ones. This next story is communist... Is by Communist Waffle 990 or 990. I don't know. Now, Kevin is not mentally R worded in any way. I don't like saying that word in any way, but he might as well be. He is goddamn stupid. That I that I am surprised he is still alive. He is by far the dumbest person I have ever met, and his lack of mental competence never ceases to amaze me. Here is a list. Oh, lists. I like lists. The last time I did a list, it was funny. Okay. Here's a list of some of the stupidest shit he's done. On Instagram, Kevin made two alternate accounts for the sole purpose of impersonating his friends. Long story short, he isn't friends with them anymore. Okay, that's a normal one. Kevin takes his school laptop, paid for by the school, and throws it 10 to 15 feet in the air and tries to catch it. He's been hit in the head multiple times and has cracked the side of it. Last year, Kevin had to pay $600 to replace his school laptop after he broke it doing the same thing. School? You can get a school laptop? Seriously? One of my friends went on a Boy Scout camping trip and shared a tent with Kevin. He changed buck ass naked in front of everyone. At lunch, Kevin constantly throws food and drinks at everybody at the table, despite everyone telling him to stop. We have tried to kick him out, but to no avail. He threw an entire carton of milk on my friend's brand new sweatshirt and stained it. Kevin pirates music and movies off of the internet and downloads them onto his school laptop. Kevin purpose purposely tried to give his school laptop a virus and succeeded. Finally, for the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen anyone do in my life, Kevin went skiing and decided it would be a good idea to jump off the ski lift while it was moving. <laughs> I love Kevin's stories. I love it. I love it. I love Kevin's stories. Oh, I haven't got one that's proper belly laugh to me like the last one with the kid with the crayons. Oh, uh, well, that's good. That's uh, that's where the story ends, by the way. And again, it takes a station. It takes from one station to another for me to get through one. Oh, man. These are so good. Oh, man. I got to do more of these Kevin stories, man. I, I got to do more. Like, different... Not just Scott Rail. I got to do, like, different places. Oh, man. <laughs> this next story is from I Craved... Oh, I Craved Death, lol, 69. So my best friend is a total Kevin. He has gone to be tested for he has gone to be tested for any mental disorders and he was considered perfectly fine. Here is a compilation up oh, another list. I love him as to what he's done. 
Kevin and I were members of a math club back in high school. He would forget what his position was. He was the social media person. He even thought he was the president at one point. Well, that's not that bad. He believes the Earth is a cube. Not round, not flat, but a cube. Apparently, he saw it on a YouTube video. Uh, are you talking about Minecraft? Because, you know, there's a theory that the Minecraft world is just a cube. I think that's what it might be. He goes AFK in a game and completely forgets that we were playing to begin with. The longest time that he forgot was two hours. Kevin can't make the microwave work. His microwave has the instructions next to it at all times. He called his mum a virgin because apparently she never had sex when he's been alive. <laughs> He'll forget the wrapping of the burger and eat the paper it's wrapped in. <laughs> he texted me to call his phone because he couldn't find it. <laughs> he has lost his phone twice. It had only been two days. He tried to do a flip because he thought it was easy. He face planted on the asphalt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. These are just some of the things he's done in the past three years. Okay, the thing that got me is calling his mum a virgin because apparently she's never had sex when he's been alive. Oh, what is this kid? Also, how far away am I from Glasgow? Okay, I'm quite near but it's gonna take a while <laughs> oh man that's got me that right the next story oh, i think i'm reaching another station i think i'm at another station i am i get it just takes stations by this point from station to station i read a story this next story is from michael gale 33 i'm still giggling at the last one so my previous post about kevin i worked with in high school Wait, worked with in high school? Wouldn't you mean like you went to high school with? Reminded me, oh, right, reminded me about another Kevin who worked there. Don't you mean went there? This guy was probably in his 30s. Oh, right, so yeah, probably teacher. Probably in his 30s and really nice. I got along with him. I got along with him well. Oh, I got along with him well and wasn't and wasn't a Kevin at the time we worked together. One day we were talking and he mentioned he used to work at a Wendy's in a nearby city he used to live in back when he was in his, he was in his first year out of high school. As he tells it, one day in early December, important later, he woke up and didn't feel like going to work that day. So he goes outside, walks down the street to a payphone and calls the cops claiming there was a bomb inside the local Wendy's. <laughs> He hung up, went back inside and ate breakfast. Soon as his boss frantically called, telling him not to come to work, that the place was shut down and the bomb squad was looking through the place, satisfied, he went back to bed and enjoyed his day off. Now this is bad enough, but this was December of 2001, aka at least three months after 9-11. Oh, I don't know what the statute of limitations on something like this is, and I don't want to be put on a wait list by looking it up. But I told him for his sake, he should never tell that story again. Yet you've just told it to the internet, and now I'm talking about it on Train Sim. <laughs> oh, that's not really a Kevin thing. I wouldn't exactly call that Kevin work. That's more... That's more just wrong. You shouldn't do that. Oh, man. Right. Right, next story. Again, I think I'm coming up to another station. I am. Again, it just takes stations. Holy crap. By the time I get through this, I might be at Glasgow. Migmaster135. My dad isn't actually... My dad isn't actually unintelligent. He, he just has no common sense or understanding of how the world works. He's a CPA, um, child protection agent. I don't know. So there's definitely something between his ears. Okay. He's, he just doesn't know how to use it most of the time. Some classic stories. All right. Oh, it's not a list. It's just like tiny tidbits of stories. Wait, did, did I not stop at that thing? No, I didn't. Okay. Didn't stop at Kafka. 
I wanted to attach a hook on the wall to hang my backpack from. My dad was afraid that the stud would rip out of the wall. Not that the hook would rip out of the stud, that the whole 2x4 stud would rip out of the wall. My backpack weighed 20 LBS max. That's not that bad. My dad somehow became convinced that bears have six kidneys. I have no idea how he got this in his head, but it took finding a diagram of bears' internal organs to prove him wrong. My dad asked me which way to turn coming out of Walmart. I said left. He asked how I knew. I told him because we made a right when we pulled in. He was flabbergasted. (laughs) What? My dad couldn't figure out how to change the light bulb in a lamp in his room. It's not some kind of weird bulb. You literally twist it and it comes out. My dad once my dad once held up the McDonald's line for five minutes while the cashier explained to my dad how the items he ordered added up to the total and how my dad hadn't been overcharged. I don't remember the exact scenario, but it was very simple. Remember, my dad's an accountant. Oh, he's an accountant. Right, I thought he was like some child protection agent or something. There's a street across town from where I live that's a similar name to the street I live on. They're definitely different names, but it would be understandable mistake for someone who didn't know the area to mix them up. My dad has driven over to see me four times since I've lived there. All four times he went to the same street number as mine on the other road and called me in a half because he was outside some industrial building and not where I lived. Edit. Someone asked, so I'll tell you. The names are Country Club Road and Old Country Road. That's kind of understandable that he'd go to the, the wrong place. My dad is incapable of remembering the term steel toe and calls my work boots iron shoes. I am iron shoes. My dad tried to bake a cake for my mum's birthday. He put the pan of batter in the oven, set a timer and went to do something else for 30 minutes or whatever it is. He got back and couldn't figure out why the cake didn't bake. My mum laughed and said he hadn't turned the oven on. He then did the same thing the next year. (laughs) When I was 23 and my dad was 46, I made a casual comment that this was the only time in our lives that I would be half his age. He told me I would always be half his age. It took five minutes to explain to him. Wait. No, that is right. He's 46, you're 23. My dad is like 51. I'm 27. I think... No, I'm, I'm wrong. Okay, shut up. I'm not doing maths. I've had enough. I'm not doing maths. My dad tried to take out a flathead screw with a Phillips head screwdriver. It's not like he just grabbed the wrong screw guard. He wrong, grabbed the wrong screwdriver. He repeatedly tried to turn the screw and then complained that the screwdriver was broken. He couldn't understand why I was standing next to him guffawing. Guffawing? Is that what he's calling it? Where? Did we just, like, skip all the stations? Alright. Uh, my dad tried to work in one brown... Oh, my dad tried to go to work in one brown shoe and one black shoe. Upon further inspection, he was also wearing two left shoes. A- edited additional stories. I'm a welder. Username can confirm. One time, my dad wanted to watch me weld. I told him that I didn't have a second welding helmet for him to use. He asked if he could just squint really hard. He was serious. It took my dad a month to remember how to copy and paste. Apparently, right-click copy, right-click paste was too much for him. My dad got a piece of bread stuck in the toaster. He then, without unplugging the toaster, stuck a metal fork down in there to try and get the bread out. My mum stopped him before anything can happen. I actually did that once. I actually, um... Me being the idiot that I am, I stuck a knife in a toaster to try and get my toast out. I flung myself across my kitchen table. It freaking hurt a lot. Like, I was in agony. And it's probably not the best thing to do. So I don't recommend it. Our last story is by Tulip Bunny 14 This story is my teacher's, not mine, so I don't have all the details. Cast. ST is teacher, TSB is teacher's stepbrother, Kevin is little Kevin. Background. A teacher lived in a suburban area as a kid. Teacher's stepbrother had rabbits, so rabbit poo. They had a sucky neighbor, Kevin. On to the story. I can already guess where this is going. On to the story. 
one day, teacher and teacher stepbrother were out and were playing. They had about 12-ish pieces of rabbit poo. Enter Kevin. What are you doing? Teacher stepbrother looking at these... We're looking at these power pellets, rabbit poo. <laughs> Teacher, they make you super strong. Kevin eats one. Kevin, oh, Kevin eats the rest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Teacher, we have a lot of power pellets out under the bunny shack. Teacher and teacher's stepbrother didn't think it would go any further. The next night, they found Kevin under the rabbit shack eating rabbit poo. No one has any idea how many pieces of poo Kevin ate. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, why? Why would you do that? I mean, I understand, you know. Oh, that's my laptop telling me off. I understand if you like, if, you know, like the first one, you like, you taste like, oh, okay. That's poo. Like surely you, surely you'd know that that's poo. Oh, I don't like that. No, that's not. That's not something I like. I'm not liking that one bit. No. Uh. -uh. Right, are we at. We're at Glasgow. Okay, we're at Glasgow. We're. We're done. We're done with our journey. We heard about poop. Oh man, these are. Uh, these are why Kevin stories get me. But that last one was just. Why would you feed someone poo? Why, like, as a kid, even me as a kid, like, I'd understand. Like, I'd do it once and be like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. But don't let him do it again. If you see him in the back garden at night eating poo, I'd run out there and be like, dude, what are you doing? I mean, at least you don't have to clean it up, but, but still, it's just, like, why? God damn it. <laughs> Right, um, I don't know why I'm standing at this door because I don't know what side's going to be the one that I get off at. But, yeah. But that was that was Reddit stories. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read more Reddit stories in the future. Do different... Basically just the same as this where I just go on a journey and read Reddit stories and I'll try and find some like different ones like maybe some entitled parents um, because I do know a few entitled parents. I have one. Um... Yeah, so maybe a few entitled parents, a few other ones like, am I the asshole? So I can answer those questions. Um, card just fell off my bloody fireplace. My leg is hurting, so I can't move the microphone. There we go. Yeah, so we'll we'll see we'll see what 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 goes on. Right. Um, which side's the platform gonna be on? This side? Is it gonna be? Yes, yeah, this side. Okay. Wow. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Reddit stories. I enjoyed the one, um, oh, what's what, the one about the kid saying to his mum, you're a virgin because you've not had sex while I've been alive. <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> but, yeah. Where Glasgow? Job done. Woo! Right, now I can go shopping. <laughs> Off we go. Gonna go shopping. Shopping done. I'm on platform eight. Shopping done. Let's go, let's go get some shopping done. Yeah. Can I go out here? Yes, I can. Okay, let's go get some shopping done. Right, we're going to go to this shop. From a distance, that actually looks pretty good. It looks like proper, like, it, look, it sort of has the resemblance of a shop. But you get closer, and it's like, no, nah, it's not. Right. How far can I actually go? Oh, I can go pretty far. Oh, oh, no, I can't. <laughs> All right, so I can, I can, this is the limit of where I can go. So I can't go down there, and I can't go over there. So, yeah. But, like, I like it. I like, that's cool. But, yeah, that was, that, that was Reddit stories. Um, if you liked that, uh, let me know. And I will, um, I will read more. More terrible, terrible Reddit stories. Can I do leapfrog on these? Oh, wait, I can't jump in this. I forgot. I was playing Skyrim earlier, and I, I forgot I can't jump in this game. But, yeah, that was Reddit stories. So, if you like that, let me know, and I'll do some more. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Train Sim, whenever that may be. And I'll do some more Reddit stories, if you like it. Bye!